Hi everyone, my name is Tim Agbaj, I'm a portrait and fashion photographer based in Lagos, Nigeria. So, yes, um, this vlog is basically more about um, frequency separation and um, like just um, getting the angle of frequency separation really. So, um, I think without a further ado, we'll just, we'll just jump into this right now. If you check on YouTube, you should definitely get um, many tutorials on frequency separation on bikes, you know, but we have a preset already for this one, action, sorry for this, and I'm going to attach a link to um, this video where you can get the action. What's the point when there's an action? Why should you start going over the setting up a frequency separation to retouch each picture? doesn't really make any sense so um, this is the most important part when you're touching the picture it's this especially using the frequency separation this radius is as i said the most important this is what works for me though it works differently for people like different people when i say i should know them because i definitely should more portrait pictures close up and all so um i tend to use my i tend to put my radius in about 10 to 12 about there then when i um shoot more of like three quarter shots i tend to reuse about eight this is this is one mistake most people tend to um, do or something if you don't get this right the picture could either turn out looking really fake and plastic and smudgy and if you tend to like you just need to get the right spot so with time you just continue consistency is key with time if you continue you definitely get used to it so for this particular image i'm going to be using um, the radius of chuff so after i apply the radius okay that's it <clears throat> so here's the gist about the um, frequency portion right now i'm going to work on the blue layer definitely if you watch tutorials on the rest you know there's a blue layer there's an high layer but yeah, I'm not just here to start giving an analysis on how to go about frequency separation and like that. There's a shortcut from take the shortcut. <laughs> so um this is how I work it. Um work on my Google layer. I turn off my eye frequency so the image could look blurry. Yeah. So and there's also a check layer attached to this. So I turn on the skin blemish. Oops. I will use my reds so I can see the discoloration in the skin and everything like that. I do this and <coughs> come out to my low frequency and pick my brush, mixer brush tool. Start picking my mixer brush tool. Let zoom out. I hope you will be able to see this well. So I pick my mixer brush to and I start painting. The painting is just really picking from a good side or the side you want and applying it to the other sides. And try as much as possible not to take from the shadow area to a brighter area. It's going to be very very obvious. So I know you are, you guys won't be able to see any difference in this image right now, but I'm going to like toggle it on and off so you will see this. Uh, mind me, I'm not used to the, I'm not used to vlogging, so you guys should bear with me. So let me turn this off and on. This is our before and this is our after. Let me move this closer. Before, but, uh, I'm a fan of um, I'm a fan of them making my images look plastic and uh, I still want details and making it look very much natural. So, basically, before and after, and let me continue and just finish up with the rest. Still boring, you guys, it's still painting and painting. Oh, enough. 
subtle is everything. Going to do anything dramatic or turn your subject to a uh, bad kind before you know you're doing something. So I found down my video here. Yeah. I come to my high frequency video yeah. I change my tool to my close down tool and um, zoom in and start picking. Paste, paste, alt to select and paint over and an um, option on your mark. So on PC, it's alt, alt, select the good side you want, paint over the uh, spot or the blemish. Although I never really remove all these scars from my subject, but I think this kind of like way too obvious. So it's got to be out. Okay, so basically I just tend to like remove the obvious uh, blemishes because I know this image might tend to like end up on Instagram. I think when you know people to like see all of these old details, why that's going into details, you can bring everything in. So, Basically, that's just what I do. And checking out before and after, before and after, that's it. So, thanks, guys. So, basically, that's it. Before, after, before, after. So, thanks, guys. I guess um, it's going to an end right now. Um, you guys could like, comment share and subscribe to my channel for more videos and you can like send me a direct email or follow my instagram account at scene underscore my cloud cheers guys